Let's review what we've learned today about salt marshes. A salt marsh is a type of ecosystem. An ecosystem is the interaction of a community of organisms, such as plants and animals, with their environment. Salt marshes are very important and are different from other ecosystems. How? Salt marshes are found between a landmass and an ocean. It forms a diverse place for living things because it is where fresh water and salt water come together. A salt marsh is always producing new grass as old grass dies. Bacteria, a type of decomposer, promote the decay of the marsh grass, which in turn produces detritus. Detritus is dead and decaying plant or animal matter. Filler crabs, snails, small shrimp, and fish such as minnows feed on decomposed marsh grasses. Oysters and clams filter detritus and tiny living plants from the water. These organisms become food for crabs, birds, and a variety of fish. This interaction is known as food chains. A food chain is a system where each member is eaten in turn by another member. When there are several interrelated food chains, this is known as a food web. Let's go over the ecosystem of a salt marsh. In any ecosystem, there are producers. Producers are organisms such as plants that are able to produce their own food, usually through photosynthesis. In this case, we have salt marsh grass. There are also consumers in the ecosystem. Consumers are organisms, usually an animal that feeds on plants or other animals. They cannot produce their own food, so they must consume other organisms. In salt marshes, one consumer might be the egret, which feed on fish and shrimp. In this example, the egret is known as the predator because it is the hunter. The fish and shrimp are known as the prey because they are being hunted. What do small animals like shrimp and minnows eat? They feed on detritus. Remember that detritus is decayed plant or animal matter. How does that happen? Through decomposers. Decomposers are known as nature's recyclers because they break down animal and plant matter. Fungi and bacteria are decomposers. Besides detritus, other animal and plant matter that is decomposed becomes nutrients in the soil for other plants to grow. And the cycle starts over. So, here's the system of salt marshes. As you can see, all organisms, plants and animals, are interrelated. All organisms rely on each other to keep the cycle going and to maintain a balance in nature. The major purpose of this activity was to learn about salt marshes and understand the concept of a food web.